Hello, my name is Paige Wilcox. I am joined here by my dog, Oliver Wilcox. He's here for emotional support. Going live is not my favorite thing in the world to do, but what that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I'm so excited to be here with you today because today we are talking about five strategies to jumpstart your metabolism and increase the rate at which you burn your fuel. And that's what the metabolism is all about. We have a metabolic jumpstart challenge that's completely free that is starting on Monday. So if you haven't joined us yet, be sure to click the link and join us. You'll receive all kinds of great information that I'm gonna explain today as well. So I'm so excited to invite you to this challenge. It's a completely free challenge. Like I said, we kick off on Monday, July 20th. All you have to do is click the link in the description of this post and you're gonna get an awesome guidebook. It's a PDF, really well designed. You're gonna get daily coaching from us via email. You'll get an amazing community to encourage you. And then three incredible follow along training sessions from Mike. This is all our way of giving back and helping people like you get on the right path with healthy living. So in this training today, I'm going to go deep to support your success in the Metabolic Jumpstart Challenge. So if you don't plan on joining us for the challenge, there's really no point in you watching this training. This training is really designed to set you up for success in the challenge. And if you haven't registered already, I hope you will join. Your metabolism is the complex biochemical process that your body uses to convert what you eat and drink into energy. This happens at the most basic level in your cells. The calories in everything that we eat and drink combined with oxygen releases the energy that our bodies need to function. Now that's about as scientific as I'm going to get in this entire training, but we are gonna be talking about the eight factors that affect our metabolic rates and then the five factors that we have full control over. And those are the five factors that we're gonna be getting really into during the challenge starting next week. So here's how the challenge is set up. We're gonna teach you the framework for how to boost your metabolism and why each component of the five-day challenge is so important. Each day, if we're keeping it super simple for you, so each day you're gonna receive a daily action list of metabolic boosting activities, and then we're also gonna give you an, a tracker, a worksheet to track your progress. And then you'll also be receiving daily emails from us to motivate you, to inspire you, um, and give you extra bonus tips and strategies to get even better results. In addition to that, we've created a web page for you with videos of Mike coaching and taking you through a three-part series of follow-along training sessions. They're really incredible. So these are the eight factors that affect our metabolic rate. And the good news is we have control over five of them. So the first one is genetics. Of course, we don't have control over our genetics. Some people are naturally fast burners and others burn more slowly. Our size, the bigger we are, the more energy our body requires to stay alive. Our age, as we get older, our metabolism naturally slows down. Body composition, having more muscle versus fat helps us burn more calories. Gender, men, unfortunately, burn more calories at a faster rate than women. Health issues, there are some medical conditions and diseases that make you burn calories either at a faster or a slower rate. Lifestyle, including stress, sleep, the foods you eat, and your activity level. So we all know the more active we are in general, the more calories we will burn. Your body burns the food food that you eat or fuel in three basic ways. Number one, staying alive. This is the energy that's required to keep you running when you're at rest. And 60 to 75% of the foods that we eat are goes towards staying alive. Digestion. This is called the thermal effect of food. Digesting the food that we eat requires energy, and this is 10% of our daily total. And then activity. The energy that's required to fuel our daily physical requirements, and that's 10 to 30% of our daily total. 
So in this five step metabolic jump start, this is what we're gonna be doing. Number one, we're gonna be optimizing your diet. Number two, we're gonna be exercising, yay. Number three, we're gonna work on stress management, sleep, and then non-exercise activity. So step one is optimizing your diet. And I can't talk about optimizing your diet without first talking about four of our five habits for massive impact. I'm gonna to touch on these really quick here because if you've been following us for a while, you know I've done many trainings on our habits for massive impact, four of which are listed here, nutritionally related. The fifth is get active. And this is really the foundation that we've, we've developed to help people achieve and sustain health and fitness for their lifetime, and it's really basic. So first thing, start your day every day with breakfast, most important, the meal of the day. It's gonna set you up to have great energy levels throughout the day. Number two, nourish yourself consistently throughout the day. This is a strategy to help you stay on point in terms of nutrition, so be sure to get a meal between breakfast and lunch, between lunch and dinner, and what that do, is going to do is it's going to um, keep your metabolism burning and help you make better decisions by the time you get to your next meal so that you're not going into any meals feeling starving and eating everything that's in sight. We've all been there, right? Number three is really important, whole foods only. So foods in their most natural state, foods that came from the earth or had a mother, foods that came from the farm and not the factory. And then number four is so important, being properly hydrated. Most Americans are not properly hydrated and really like, if you're watching this video, we are six minutes in. If you're not drinking half your body weight in fluid ounces daily in water and you wanna make a major impact on your health and your lifestyle, do that, just drink more water and I assure you, you will be feeling a lot better. So in this challenge, we're taking it even further, optimizing your diet. So in this challenge, we're gonna talk more about protein. So protein help you, helps you maintain more muscle if you're losing weight, burn more fuel during <laughs> burn more fuel during digestion, and then protein also helps you feel full more long, longer. Um, you want to make sure that you're getting an adequate amount of protein each day. I review a lot of nutrition journals for people and what I see often is that it's more carbohydrate heavy. So you want to make sure that you're including a protein source in every meal. And as a general guideline, you want to aim to get 10 to 35% of your daily calories from protein. But this is really going to be um, individualized for each, each person. Um, probiotics are found in fermented foods and beverages like kombucha, sauerkraut, and homemade pickles. And they can really help with fat loss and work to help prevent weight gain. So we're going to encourage you throughout this challenge to experiment with some probiotic foods and see how they make you feel. If this isn't the best news that I've heard all day or that I'm giving to you all day, caffeine can actually temporarily boost your resting metabolic rate by three to 11%. So that's really incredible. And bonus points if you're drinking green tea, which contains a lot of metabolism boosting um, antioxidants. And then we're gonna say hydration again because it's probably the most important thing that we're gonna be talking about throughout um, any challenge is drinking the right amount of water for your body. So drinking half your body weight in fluid ounces daily is really gonna set you up for success long term. Um, and if you need more evidence to support that or if you need more encouragement to do that, um, research shows if you drink two cups of water, your metabolism is boosted up by 30% for almost an hour after. So there's that. All right, step two, exercise. Very important. The more active you are, the more calories you burn. Building more muscle means burning more fuel even when you're resting. High intensity interval training, the type of training that we do at Wilcox Wellness and Fitness can elevate your calorie burn for hours after your workout. We also incorporate a lot of resistance training workouts and that also elevates your metabolism for a couple hours post exercise. Um, so there are two types of trainings that really help rev your metabolism beyond the time that you actually spend exercising and that is resistance training helping build muscle which burns calories when you're at rest and then high intensity interval 
training um, burns more calories overall um, than regular steady state workouts. So we suggest at Wilcox Wellness and Fitness just three training sessions a week. Um, you don't have to spend your life inside the gym to get incredible results. And as a bonus, as part of this five-day challenge, Mike has put together an incredible follow-along video series um, that's really designed for any any fitness level. He gives modifications. He's going to encourage you to take breaks. He's going to encourage you to go at your own pace um, and give tons of modifications. Um, so we have this as a bonus to this challenge that's coming up. Step number three is stress management. Stress can make you feel hungry, slow down your metabolism, and increase fat storage. The hormonal changes that are designed to help you deal with stress or powerful power through stressful situations can actually lower your metabolism. A study at the Ohio State found that women who reported a lot of stress the day before burned 104 fewer calories after they ate a high calorie meal the next day. So it's really important to find ways to manage your stress and we're also going to be talking about this and giving you tools and resources throughout this program to deal with stress. So here are five quick things that you can do to manage your stress. Number one, identify things that are stressful to you and take action to reduce the impact of that stressor in your life. Number two, journaling, so important. Getting your thoughts down um, really is a very effective way of managing stress. Getting out in nature, moving your body, walking, meditating, and practicing some really simple breathing exercises can have a profound impact on the way that your body handles stress. Number four, sleep. Too little sleep can lead to excess hunger, fat storage, and more. It's important that you understand that not getting enough sleep can reduce your rate of fat loss more than a half. And it also spikes ghrelin, which is a hormone that affects both hunger and your activity level. So sleep's different for every person. Some people need less sleep, some people more, need more sleep. If you don't know how much you sleep you need, I would really encourage you to experiment and figure out how much sleep you need for yourself. But in general, you should aim for seven to eight hours of sleep at night to keep your metabolism at its, its peak. So sleep for seven or eight hours every night. Include a relaxing evening wind down routine if you need help sleeping. Don't eat too close to bedtime because that can impact your sleep. Avoid caffeine and alcohol because those things also, too close to your bedtime, will impact your sleep quality. Um, and then make sure that your environment is set up for success for sleep. So a comfy bed, the right temperature, it's quiet, it's dark, um, all the things that you need to have a restful night's sleep. All right, step five, non-exercise activity. Um, so this is talking about the things that you're doing like outside of your training session. Um, so you can sit down instead of laying down if you're watching television or if you're working or whatever. Um, park farther away from the building entrance. Take the stairs until instead of the elevator or the ex escalator. Go for a walk after lunch or dinner. Set a, and then this one's my favorite. Set a timer for 15 minutes and hustle around your house to get all your chores done. Um, but really the idea is finding ways to move your body as part of your regular daily life. So I hope that information was really helpful and I hope that you'll join our free challenge to jumpstart your metabolism. Like I said, it starts on Monday. All you need to do is click the link in the description of this um, and we just need your email address and your name and we'll send you the PDF right away. And then starting Monday, you will get um, tools and resources to support you throughout the metabolic jumpstart challenge. I think the really important thing to know is that we have control over our metabolism. Um, a lot of people say, oh, it's genetic, but like we, like we just learned, it's, there's eight different Different factors and five of them we have impact over. Um, so really important and I hope you'll join us and let me know if you have any questions at all. I'm not seeing any comments here today um, but post any of your questions in the comments and I will answer every single one. Thanks so much. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.